United Technologies and Carrier stepped it up. And now they're keeping, actually, the number is over 1,100 people, which is so great, which is so great. And, and I see the people. I shook hands with a lot of the people. They're right behind us working. With the announcement of the economic team and with the announcement of this carrier deal, you're kind of seeing the same thing, the same dynamic play out, which is Donald Trump promising a certain thing in the campaign. I'm going to be tough. I'm going to bust down on Wall Street. I'm going to go to Carrier, and I'm going to tell them they have to stay. And then now that he's actually going to be in office, instead of threatening them, he just paid them to stay. You know, I did say one thing to the Carrier folks and to the United Technologies folks. I said, the goodwill that you have engendered by doing this all over the world, frankly, but within our country, you watch how fast you're going to make it up because so many people are going to be buying carrier air conditioners. I think any president should be nervous about engaging in one-on-one -on -one contract negotiations or bully poping with a corporation. It, it makes sense for a president and his team to change the tax code, change the regulatory environment, improve the capacity of the business community to do what it does. But if you do this, uh, two things happen. Number one, you put in place incentives for other companies to see what they can get. That's a real phenomenon. Number two, at some level he now has ownership of the success of the Indiana operations of Carrier. And that's nothing that he should have any particular incentive in. And it leads to further down the line the, the, the possibility he might try something more to make sure it works out. Companies are not going to leave the United States anymore without consequences. Not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I'll tell you right now. We're losing our, we're losing so much. So one of the things we're doing to keep them is we're going to be lowering our business tax from 35 percent, hopefully down to 15 percent, which would take us from the highest tax nation virtually in the world. This is terrible for business. To one of the lower tax, not the lowest yet, but one of the lower tax. The other thing we're doing is regulations. 